Sistan Persian Balak Pashto Sistan known in ancient times as Sakastan Persian Balak Pashto Sakastan the land of the Saka is a historical and geographical region in present-day eastern Iran Sistan and Baluchestan province and southern Afghanistan Nimruz Kandahar Topic <inaudible> Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Sistan derives its name from Sakastan, the land of the Saka. The Sakas were a Scythian tribe which from the 2nd century BC to the 1st century migrated to the Iranian plateau and Indus valley, where they carved a kingdom known as the Indo-Scythian kingdom. In the Bundahishkan, a Zoroastrian scripture written in Pahlavi, the province is called Sayansa. After the Arab conquest of Iran, the province became known as Sihistan, Sistan, the more ancient Old Persian name of the region, prior to Saka dominance, was Zaranka, Waterland, cf. Pashto de Zaranda. This older form is also the root of the name Zaranj, capital of the Afghan Nimruz province. Encyclopedia Iranica says. The name of the country and its inhabitants is first attested as Old Persian Zrk in the Great Bisotan inscription of Darius I, apparently the original name. This form is reflected in the Elamite and variants, Babylonian and Egyptian versions of the Achaemenid royal inscriptions, as well as in Greek Zeringe, Zeringoioi, Zarangian Arian, Isidore of Carix, and Seringe Herodotus, and in Latin Zeringe Pliny. Instead of this original form, characterized by non-Persian Z, perhaps from proto -ie palatal asterisk gamma or asterisk gamma H, in some Greek sources, chiefly those dependent upon the historians of Alexander the Great, the perhaps hypercorrect Persianized variant, cf. Ballardi, p. 183, with initial D, asterisk dranka, or even asterisk dranga, reflected in Greek drange, drange, drangine, drangi, a, ne, tegis, Polybius, Strabo, Diodorus, Ptolemy, Arian, Stephanus Byzantius, and Latin drange, drangiana, drangiani, Curtius Rufus, Pliny, Ammianus Marcellinus, Justin, or Drancius, Valerius Flaccus, Argonautica 6.106, 6. .507 occurs. In the Shahnameh, Sistan is also referred to as Zabulistan, after the region in the eastern part of Iran. In Ferdowsi's epic, Zabulistan is in turn described to be the homeland of the mythological hero Rostam. History Early history In prehistoric times, the Jorift civilization covered parts of Sistan and Kerman province possibly as early as the 3rd millennium BC. Later the area was occupied by Aryan tribes related to the Indo-Aryans and Iranian peoples. Eventually a kingdom known as Arachosia was formed, parts of which were ruled by the Median Empire by 600 BC. The Medes were overthrown by the Achaemenid Persian Empire in 550 BC, and the rest Arachosia was soon annexed. In the 4th century BC, Macedonian king Alexander the Great annexed the region during his conquest of the Persian Empire and founded the colony of Alexandria in Arachosia, modern Kandahar. Alexander's empire fragmented after his death, and Arachosia came under control of the Seleucid Empire, which traded it to the Mauryan dynasty of India in 305 BC. After the fall of the Mauryans, the region fell to their Greco-Bactrian allies in 180 BC, before breaking away and becoming part of the Indo-Greek kingdom. Indo-Parthian king Gondophares was leader of Sistan around c. 20–10 BCE as it was part of the Indo-Parthian kingdom which was also called Gadrosia, its Hellenistic name. After the mid-2nd century BC, much of the Indo-Greek kingdom was overrun by tribes known as the Indo-Scythians or Saka, from which Sistan from Sakastan eventually derived its name. The Indo-Scythians were defeated around 100 BC by the Parthian Empire, which briefly lost the region to its Surin vassals the Indo-Parthian around 20 AD, before the region was conquered by the Kushan Empire in the mid-1st century AD. The Kushans were defeated by the Sassanid Persian Empire in the mid-3rd century, first becoming part of a vassal Kushancha state, before being overrun by the Hephthalites in the mid-5th century. Sassanid armies reconquered Sistan in by 565 AD, but lost the area to the Arab Rashidun Caliphate after the mid-640s. 
Topic: Sasanian era. The province was formed in CA 240, during the reign of Shapur I, in his effort to centralize the empire. Before that, the province was under the rule of the Parthian Surin Kingdom, whose ruler Ardashir Sakansha became a Sasanian vassal during the reign of Shapur's father Ardashir I, who also had the ancient city Zirang rebuilt, which became the capital of the province. Shapur's son Narsa was the first to appoint it as the governor of province, which he would govern until 271, when the Sasanian prince Hormuzd was appointed as the new governor. Later in ca. 281, Hormuzd revolted against his cousin Bahram II. During the revolt, the people of Sakastan was one of his supporters. Nevertheless, Bahram II managed to suppress the revolt in 283, and appointed his son Bahram III as the governor of the province. During his early reign, Shapur II r. 309 appointed his brother Shapur Sakansha as the governor of Sakastan. Paraz I r. 459 during his early reign, put an end to dynastic rule in province by appointing a Karinid as its governor. The reason behind the appointment was to avoid further family conflict in the province, and in order to gain more direct control of the province. Islamic conquest During the Muslim conquest of Persia, the last Sasanian king Yazdegerd III fled to Sakastan in the mid-640s, where its governor Aparvas who was more or less independent, helped him. However, Yazdegerd III quickly ended this support when he demanded tax money that he had failed to pay. In 650, Abd Allah ibn Amir, after having secured his position in Kerman, sent an army under Mujashi ibn Mas'ud to Sakastan. After having crossed the Dasht i Lut desert, Mujashi ibn Mas'ud arrived to Sakastan. However, he suffered a heavy defeat and was forced to retreat. One year later, Abd Allah ibn Amir sent an army under Rabi ibn Ziyad Harithi to Sakastan. After some time, he reached Zalik, a border town between Kerman and Sakastan, where he forced the Deccan of the town to acknowledge Rashidun authority. He then did the same at the fortress of Kirkuya, which had a famous fire temple, which is mentioned in the Tariq i Sistan. He then continued to seize more land in the province. He thereafter besieged Zi Rang, and after a heavy battle outside the city, Aparvas and his men surrendered. When Aparvas went to Rabi to discuss about the conditions of a treaty, he saw that he was using the bodies of two dead soldiers as a chair. This horrified Aparvas, who in order to spare the inhabitants of Sakastan from the Arabs, made peace with them in return for heavy tribute, which included a tribute of 1,000 slave boys bearing 1,000 golden vessels. Sakastan was thus under the control of the Rashidun Caliphate. Topic. Caliphate rule. However, only two years later, the people of Zaring rebelled and defeated Rabi ibn Ziyad Harithi's lieutenant and Muslim garrison of the city. Abd Allah ibn Amir then sent Abd al-Rahman ibn Samura to Sistan, where he managed to suppress the rebellion. Furthermore, he also defeated the Zunbuls of Zabulistan, seizing Bust and a few cities in Zabulistan. During the First Islamic Civil War of 656–661, the people of Zaring rebelled and defeated the Muslim garrison of the city. In 658, Yazdegerd III's son Paraz III invaded Sistan and established a kingdom there, known in Chinese sources as the Persian Area Command. However, in 663, he was forced to leave the region after suffering a defeat to newly established Umayyad Caliphate, who had succeeded the Rashidans. Topic. Seferid dynasty Sistan became a province of the Umayyad and Abbasid caliphates. In the 860s, the Seferid dynasty emerged in Sistan and proceeded to conquer most of the Islamic East, until it was checked by the Samanids in 900. After the Samanids took the province from the Seferids, it briefly returned to Abbasid control, but in 917 the governor Abu Yazid Khalid made himself independent. He was followed by a series of emirs with brief reigns until 923, when Ahmad ibn Muhammad restored Seferid rule in Sistan. After his death in 963, Sistan was ruled by his son Caliph ibn Ahmad until 1002, when Mahmud of Ghazni invaded Sistan, ending the Seferid dynasty. A year later, Sistan revolted. In response, Mahmud brought an army to suppress the revolt. 
Mahmud's Hindu troops sacked the mosque of Zaring massacring the Muslims inside. <laughs> Nasra dynasty In 1029, Tadj al-Din i Abu l-Fadl Nasser founded the Nasra dynasty, who were a branch of the Safarids. They became vassals of the Ghaznavids. The dynasty then became vassals of the Seljuks in 1048, Ghurids in 1162, and the Khwarezmians in 1212. Mongols sacked Sistan in 1222 and Nasra dynasty was ended by Khwarezmians in 1225. Mirabanid dynasty and its successors In 1236, Shams al-Din Ali ibn Masa'id founded Mirabanid dynasty, another branch of Seferids, as Melik of Sistan for Ilkhanate. Mirabanid contested with Kartids during Mongol rule. Sistan declared independence in 1335 after demise of Ilkhanate. 1383 Tamerlane conquered Sistan and forced Mirabanids to become vassals. Overlordship of Timurids was ended in 1507 due to Uzbek invasion in 1507. Uzbeks were driven in 1510 and Mirabanids became vassals of Safavids until 1537 Safavids deposed the dynasty and gained full control of Sistan. Safavid rule was lasted till 1717 except Uzbeks rule between 1524 and 1528 and 1578 and 1598. In this year Hataki dynasty conquered it. Nadir Shah reconquered in 1727. After assassination of Nadir Shah, Sistan under rule of Durrani Empire in 1747. Between 1747 and 1872 Sistan was contested with Persia and Afghanistan. The border dispute between Persia and Afghanistan was solved by Sistan Boundary Mission, led by British General Frederick Goldsmith, who agreed to most of Sistan in Persia but the Persians won the withdrawal of the right bank of the Helmand. The countries were not satisfied. The border was defined more precisely with the Second Sistan Boundary Commission 1903 headed by Arthur Mac Mahon, who had a difficult task due to lack of natural boundaries. The part assigned Persia was included in the province of Baluchistan which took the name of Sistan and Baluchistan in 1986 being the capital Zahedan. In Afghanistan it was part of the Sistan province of Farah Chakansor that was abolished in the administrative reorganization of 1964 to form the province of Nimruz, with capital Zaranj. Sistan has a very strong connection with Zoroastrianism and during Sassanid times Lake Haman was one of two pilgrimage sites for followers of that religion. In Zoroastrian tradition, the lake is the keeper of Zoroaster's seed and just before the final renovation of the world, three maidens will enter the lake, each then giving birth to the Saushians who will be the saviors of mankind at the final renovation of the world. The most famous archaeological sites in Sistan are Shar-e-Sukta and the site on ku e Khwaja, a hill rising up as an island in the middle of Lake Haman. Topic references Topic Sources Darya A. Toraj Sasanian Persia, The Rise and Fall of an Empire. I. B. Tories. pp. 1-240. ISBN 0857716662. Greatrex, Jeffrey, Lou, Samuel N. C. 2002. The Roman Eastern Frontier and the Persian Wars Part 2, 363-630 AD. New York, New York and London, United Kingdom, Routledge, Taylor and Francis. ISBN 0-415-14687-9. Porchariati, Parvana 2008. Decline and Fall of the Sasanian Empire, the Sasanian Parthian Confederacy and the Arab Conquest of Iran. London and New York, I.B. Tories. ISBN 978-1-84511-645-3. Zarinkub, Abd al Hussein The Arab Conquest of Iran and its Aftermath. The Cambridge History of Iran, Volume 4, From the Arab Invasion to the Saljuks. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 1-57. ISBN 978-0-521-20093-6. Morini, M. Arab-e. Arab Conquest of Iran. Encyclopedia Iranica, Vol. 2, FASC, 2. pp. 203-210. Christensen, Peter. 1993. The Decline of Iranshar: Irrigation and Environments in the History of the Middle East, 500 BC to AD 1500. Museum Tusculanum Press. 
pp. 1 to 351. ISBN 9 trillion seven hundred eighty eight billion seven hundred seventy two million eight hundred ninety two thousand five hundred ninety seven Shapir Shabazi a 2005 SASANIAN dynasty Encyclopedia Iranica online edition retrieved the 3rd of April 2014 Fry Richard Nelson 1984 the history of ancient Iran CH Beck PP 1 to 411 ISBN 9783406093995 Shapiro Shabazi, A. 1995. Drangiana. Encyclopedia Iranica, Vol. 2, FASC, 5. pp. 534-537. Bosworth, Clifford Edmund Siston. The Encyclopedia of Islam, New Edition, Vol. 9, San Z. Leiden, and New York, Brill. pp. 681-685. ISBN 9789004082656. Shapiro Shabazi, A. 2015. The Sistani Cycle of Epics and Iran's National History, On the Margins of Historiography. Brill. pp. 1-250. ISBN 9789004282996. Shapiro Shabazi, A. 2011. Sistan E. In the Islamic Period. Encyclopedia Iranica. Barthold, W. Amr B. Al Lathe. The Encyclopedia of Islam, New Edition, Vol. 1, A. B. Leiden and New York, Brill. pp. 452-453. ISBN 90-04-08114-3. Bosworth, C. E. The Tahirids and Seferids. In Fry, R. N. The Cambridge History of Iran, Vol. 4, From the Arab Invasion to the Saljuks. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 90-135. Bosworth, C. E. The Rise of the New Persian Language. In Fry, R. N. The Cambridge History of Iran, Vol. 4, From the Arab Invasion to the Saljuks. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 595-633. ISBN 0-521-20093-8.